honestly, you know, if you want to ask a question, that would be it because everybody's a little bit different um, in terms of culture. I don't think, I don't professionally seem to believe that there's one ideal culture. There may be an ideal culture for your organization. There may be a different culture that's ideal for, for my organization or for any other different organization. If we don't strive to a theory that, you know, we got to go and turn everybody into one um, fell swoop, you know, simple uh, one size fits all uh, culture. Um, what I do believe, though, if we look at those three pieces intertwined, that culture is influenced by leaders. There's not really no question. I actually do a talk. Some people that are watching this may have actually seen this talk where I put up a slide of the White House and I say, does the leader of in the White House change the culture? And then you show a picture of Trump and you show a picture of Obama. And instantaneously, people get how a leader can influence culture. I would argue, without being political, that the culture under the Obama um, tenure versus the Trump tenure are two completely different cultures, like completely different. So to us, you know, leadership influences the culture, which is why um, we believe those three things are tied. And then the culture then will have an impact on how engaged your, your folks are or not. Um, is there a causal relationship from one to the other? I don't think so. It's just a, a circle that goes around. You know, you mess with one, you're going to start working with the other. Kind of thing. So I don't, you know, organizations will call us and say, well, how do we fix the culture? Now, it's not that simple a question. You know, there's not a necessary starting point.